So now that we have our glaze put together, which you can see on my other video, we've got our glaze mixed and poured out. We're going to go ahead and turn this. All of the metallics around here, this whole surface, we're going to, we, we plan on glazing into red. Um, we've started a little bit here. This is very thin and it's still drying because of the glaze medium. It's still, it doesn't set right away. It extends the life of the paint a little bit. So we're going to take a nice well-tipped brush, which I sometimes will re-tip mid-painting. Mid so here we go. So all you want to do, we're taking a Winsor Newton size 2 brush. You can put a little bit on the brush, and then you can just clean it up on your thumb a little bit. And we're going to do just some thin coats. This is very thin. We're going to do this multiple times. And if you're not putting much on your brush like I am, you're going to repeat this a few times. So you can be a little bit more cautious. I probably didn't have enough on my brush the first time to begin with. And we're going to just go over the metallics. We did the metallics with our airbrush, which I will be doing some of my airbrush um, methods in another video in the future. Um, I'm not doing anything special with an airbrush. All of these are things I have either researched online or watching other streamers on Twitch or picked up on my own. And by no means are these ways meant to be replacements to anyone else's ways. This is just like something that I have found a comfort with. I have liked the end result from doing. So we just very, very lightly and with a little bit of patience go and fill in this whole area I'm just gonna pull the paint around you can see that it's still relatively thin I can still see the gold through it um, and if you do thin it too much it will kind of operate a little bit like a shade or a wash where it'll pull up on the edges and stuff you want to be careful of that all right, so I think we're good on that side. And this is just the first layer. I will let this cure. By the time I go around the rest of the model, I'll be able to come back and redo this section. So I just want to finish this little segment here, show you the end result, and then I'm going to actually show you a model I've already done previously and how it looks when it's finished. Because right, you can see now as I go, I'm going to go back into this section you can actually make things a little bit more rich as you go right so we're gonna what I would what I would normally do is fill all of this in all the way around fill up the whole model in all the areas very thin so they'll have this rough thin texture I'll go back and glaze it a second time and that should be enough sometimes a third um, so when you do that if you do it with enough patience comes out something like this so this is a slightly different red this is army painter uh, dragon red I believe is what's called I'll have to double check um, but it's an army painter red that I used. I airbrushed the whole model with a base coat of red. Then I came in with a detail airbrush and hit the silvers. And then came back and glazed into these areas where the overspray was to make this a nice big smooth red model. So this is what you can kind of get out of your glazing. Um, this was just a test model, so ignore any kind of mold lines or clippings. I just wanted something I threw together real quick so I can have a test model for glazing. So that's, uh, that's how I glaze it. That's, that's kind of just a quick shortcut. Um, leave some comments if you guys want, and uh, we can certainly go over any additional questions.